Hey everyone, today we are gonna to talk about barbell cycling. With barbell cycling, we know it's not maybe technically the most sound when it comes to Olympic weightlifting, but if we are competing in CrossFit, or we wanna get better at CrossFit and moving the bar faster, it's definitely something we have to practice and learn. Bar barbell cycling requires a lot of body control, it requires speed of the barbell, but it also requires movement efficiency and mental strength capacity. We've touched on this before, but we've been getting a lot of requests for it lately. So we're gonna to try to break this down again, give you guys some slow-mo, some different vantage points and hopefully give you guys some pointers that can help you guys in your barbell cycling. Let's get started. Okay, first piece to barbell cycling is the hook grip. The hook grip is so important and people always tell me, oh, but it hurts. It will get better in three months. You just have to make yourself do that or do it to practice. So what is a hook grip? So first thing you're gonna do is when Patrick picks up the barbell, he's gonna take his thumb and he's gonna put it around the bar. Then he's gonna take as many fingers over his thumb as he possibly can. You might be able to get two fingers, you might only be able to get one. Get whatever you can over that thumb. So now in that position, what it does is he has his thumb to help hold the barbell from sliding out of his hands. So as you're descending down to the floor, it's not just gonna fall out of your hands, but it locks the bar into place. When it comes to barbell cycling, there's usually two versions of a barbell cycle that you can do from the hang position. And I know the hang position is usually the position everybody wants to learn and become more efficient at because it seems to be a little bit more challenging having to hang on to the barbell. So the first type is the bounce. That one is going to be the quickest, the most efficient, but it can also be the most challenging as the weight starts to get heavier. So for the bounce, that means the barbell is coming straight down to our thighs, popping off of our thighs and going right back to our shoulder. We are resting at the top in that position. For the second type, it's gonna go all the way down to our knee. This typically relies more on the hinge of the hang clean. So that means we're gonna think about keeping our arms nice and straight as we push our hips all the way back to the knee. And then we're gonna focus on using the power from our hips to jump the bar up to our shoulder. This one is a little bit slower for the cycle rate. However, it's going to be less taxing on your grip. So when we're bouncing our hang cleans, I like to think of our front rack position as our starting and finishing position. Even though we're coming from the hang, we wanna spend as little time there as possible, and if we're going to rest or reset, it's going to be in our front rack. From here, I'm coming down and back up as quickly as I can. Counterintuitive or counter to a good clean, we're actually doing literally the opposite. So with a good clean, we typically absorb, push our hips back, reset with our chest over the bar, and extend with our legs. With a bounce, I am hitting extension when the barbell hits my thighs. So I am hitting extension when the barbell hits my thighs, jumping back underneath to catch it. So it's literally the opposite movement pattern that we would typically be taught. We're getting the bounce, jumping back underneath to catch. The reason we're catching it in extension for the bounce is so that our quads are flexed and it doesn't give us, say, a dead leg. If our legs or quads are relaxed, then we have nothing to bounce off of and it's likely to give you a bruise. When I'm coming back down, I wanna be fully extended so that I'm in tension and my muscles are flexed so that I have something for the barbell to bounce off of and then for me to come back underneath and catch it. The spot that you should be hitting is your high thigh. If you get much lower than that, you're not gonna have as good of a balance and it's likely to cause a little bit more pain or discomfort. So shooting for that high thigh is kind of that sweet spot that should allow you to bounce back off without too much pain. Circling back to hook grip, when we come up for, from the top of our shoulder, a lot of times it is okay to let go of our hook grip and re-grip on the way back down. This can be applied for our, our bounce cleans or our normal type cleans, but don't feel that you have to hang on to it, especially at the lighter weights. Let's talk about the hang clean from the knee. So we're taking the bounce out of it. This one is gonna be really focused on keeping our arms nice and long and pushing our hips back. So what that means is when I go down to do my clean, I'm keeping my lats nice and tight, the bar pulled close to my body. That's gonna be really key. We don't want that bar to swing away. And then I'm gonna think about using my hips to get the bar to my shoulder. I'm resting at the top. From here, I wanna get my elbow over my wrist as fast as possible, and then I push my hips back down to my knee. Ideally, we wanna think about getting the bar down to our knee as fast as possible, but as the bar starts to get heavier, it might start to wear on your grip. Sometimes we need to slow that barbell down just by resting at the top for a second, or by bringing it to our thigh resetting our upper back to make sure we're nice and tight and then pushing our hips back to make sure we have a nice good grasp on the barbell. For both the bounce clean and the clean, the hang clean from the knee or the sliding clean, whatever you wanna call it, we wanna make sure that we have a nice good tight upper back. So my lats are engaged and my upper back is tight. 
So we don't wanna have our shoulders being pulled forward because it's gonna pull us out of position onto our toes. And we wanna think about keeping our posterior engaged so we can keep the momentum and tension in the barbell. So what that means is when I do the bounce clean, I'm always keeping my shoulders engaged and pulled back. When I'm going from the hang, the exact same thing. I'm keeping my lats tight, just like a solid Olympic position off of the floor. And then I'm using my hips to get the barbell to the shoulder. One tip for you guys, when you start to practice barbell cycling to become more efficient, start with a lighter barbell. Start with only a barbell to start. So that way, when I have this barbell, I'm not focusing on fighting weight, but I can maintain my positions, but I have enough weight to, to be able to feel what it is I'm trying to achieve. Then, if you master sets of five to 10 with that lighter barbell, maybe we throw some fives or some tens on the side, but keep it light to make sure we can hit the positions we want and we're getting comfortable with the efficiency and the body control required for barbell cycling. Talking about footwork for the bounce clean. This is one of the few times in Olympic lifting that we really don't want our feet to move very much. We're gonna kind of plant somewhere between our jump and our landing position for a normal clean and we're more or less gonna keep them there. My feet will come up a little bit or I may come up on my toes and it's not uncommon to jump back a little bit when doing these because we're spending so much time in extension but we definitely don't want to be jumping and resetting each time because the idea for these is speed. So when I'm starting, again, if I kind of consider this my starting position, I do still jump up a little bit, but my feet are never coming back and out in. When we're cycling these, the idea is quick and we don't have the time to move out and then reset for each individual lift. A couple other quick tips when it comes to the bounce and the hang clean for the descent is it seems a little bit counterintuitive, but I actually think about almost leaning back as the bar is coming down and forward. So as the bar is at my shoulders, I don't want it to hit low on my thigh because that's gonna hurt really bad and I'm not gonna get a whole lot of bounce and it's gonna pull me forward. So instead, what I like to think about doing is the bar coming straight down, staying close, and I'm slightly leaning back, hitting that high thigh, and then it pops straight up. And that helps me hit that extension point as my shoulders are behind the bar, so it can come straight back up, right off of my thighs. And there's no pain involved if you hit in that high thigh. For the hang clean, the same thing. It's just keeping the bar close at all times. So it's always close to my body on the way down through the knee, keeping it as close as I possibly can. So at no point does this barbell pull me forward onto my toes, causing me to get out of position. The first, third and final tip for both of these is gonna be keeping our midline engaged. So in that hinge position, our midline should be tight. In that bounce position, our midline should be tight so we can support our spine and also get all of the power we need out of our hips. So our suggestion when we're practicing and when we're learning these is to not try to implement it into workouts, especially immediately. Use this as like an accessory to where you're practicing it and once you've got the hang of it and it feels more natural, then you can take it into a workout. Anytime we're learning a new skill, it can be frustrating when we're trying to learn it. Workout, our heart rate's up, we're out of breath, and kind of our tips or the things that we're trying to think about kind of go out the window. I think a couple other things to think about is you can practice, practice, practice with a light barbell, but there's other ways to condition your posterior with heavy kettlebell swings, with back extensions, with things along those lines that's working your glutes and your hamstrings in that hinging position, and that can also be super helpful. But be patient with yourself, Practice this for 10 to 15 minutes a day, a couple times a week, starting very light, and then progressively build, adding some weight as you're getting more comfortable and more efficient with that barbell movement. It should feel like it just flies up to our shoulders and we're not fighting the barbell, and that's how we know that we are moving efficiently. We hope this was super helpful. If there's any other movement videos that you guys wanna see, make sure to drop those in the comments. If you guys do find value in this, hit the like button, the subscribe button, that definitely helps us out, and we'll keep these coming for you guys. Have a great day. Oh, 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 oh,